So I'm going to show you how to get a drony shot using the cable cam feature. Now you might be asking yourself, why would I use the cable cam feature to get a drony shot when I could use the one shot feature and get a drony? The answer is simple. What if the three second timer that starts the drony isn't enough time for you to get into your position? What if you want a multiple recurring drony shot to happen so you don't have to start and stop every time the single skill shot is finished? What if, what if, what if for some reason you wanted to do a handstand on this pile of wood back here and for some weird reason that there is a stump, a tree stump at the top that you could potentially do a handstand on? We're gonna find out right now. Okay, so here we are atop said wood pile, and I'm actually gonna start flying the drone. There is a freeway behind me, so there is some added noise, unfortunately. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you what it looks like to have the regular drony shot first, and then show you how we can still recreate the same shot using the cable cam feature. Let's get into it. And we're off. So we've got Skydio launched up. So I'm gonna move it a little bit to the right and we are going to select the drony feature. So I want it to be to the right a little bit more and we're gonna check the sliders over here. I like a really fast drony so it just rips away. And the distance we're gonna have it go 200 feet away with a height increase of let's say 100 feet, okay? So we've got those set. We can select myself and then we can hit start droney. Three, two, one. And it's a really fast three seconds. And then there it goes. It takes off. It flies away. And you get this epic revealing shot as is expected with a droney shot. And I really like the high speed ones because then I don't have to speed it up later in post. Although that's a technique that you could be using as well. Great pulls back, it comes down, and now the drone is finished and complete. Goes back into motion track. So here we go. I'm gonna show you how to use cable cam to get the same feature, and then we'll talk about why that's gonna be different. So I'm gonna nudge the drone up a little bit because I want it a little bit closer. This is what I really like about the cable cam feature. So we're gonna select cable cam. We're gonna set our A point right here. And then I'm gonna take it backwards and increase the height. I don't gotta worry about it hitting anything. I can see it visually, but I also know that the sensors are working. And I'll send it back to here. We'll pretend like this is about the right point. Okay, I'm gonna set the B. Let me turn this up. There we go, perfect. Maybe just a little more height. Good, set B. Then what we can do is we come back to the sliders and the adjustments. The speed, I want a really fast one, so I'm gonna go max speed. And style, we're gonna switch from manual to looping, which means that the loop will constantly repeat over and over again until I tell it to stop. I hit loop, and it starts doing its thing. Yes, so it's gonna come in, I can strike a pose, and then it's gonna rip right back out. And it's gonna constantly go back and forth every time through this loop until I tell it to stop. Now, why would I want that? Well, if we look at this really nice thing I've got right here, this stump, what if I wanna do a handstand on top of this stump? Three seconds isn't gonna be enough for me to get in for this shot. So now we're gonna do the same thing again. I'm probably gonna slow the speed down just a little bit. So hit stop. Yeah. And now I'm going to work on trying to do a handstand on top of a wood pile. Let's see if we can get the shot.
That, my friend, is how you use the cable cam to get yourself a droney shot when you need more time to do something amazing. So let's try this in orbit mode and see what we can get. There's not a whole lot of space behind me, but maybe at the closest setting, we'll be able to get something really interesting. Oh, my God.